Hi guys! So today, gagawa na naman tayo ng isang face off video between two products. And these are from Maybelline and Everbelena. And yung product na pagtatapatin natin ngayon guys ay yung kanilang mga eyebrow pens. So if you guys are interested to know ano ang difference between the two at kung ano ang mas magandang gamitin, just keep on watching. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. So, itong Maybelline um, side, ang tawag nila dito is Maybelline Tattoo Brow Ink. Ito yung itsura niya, guys. This has been in the market for quite some time already. I think last year nila to ni launch. And so far, may konting changes sa price nila. If I'm not mistaken, I bought this one before at a, like discounted price or introductory price kasi 299 lang siya pero when i check it sa Lazada ngayon it's now 399 but just be careful or at least be aware na sometimes sinasama nila to sa kanilang sales so if interesado kang bilhin to abangan nyo madalas naman nagsi-sale si Maybelline so take advantage of that as well now this product has three shades kaya lang dalawa lang yung shade na meron ako kasi Yung isa, I don't think it's gonna fit well on my skin tone or even on my hair. So, yung shade na meron ako dito is si Natural Brown, which is the lightest brown. And then, this one is the gray brown, yung medyo dark ng konti. Yung shade na wala ako dito is yung red brown. So, ililista ko na lang sa screen kung ano yung mga shade names at saka yung price. Tapos, ang isa sa pinakamagandang claim nitong product nito is it can be in your skin for 24 hours. Obviously, hindi ko siya na-test for that uh, amount of time, but I think it really did hold up on my skin well. Um, if you guys are interested to see kung ano yung, or kung paano ko siya tinest, ano yung nangyari, I will put it on the eye button sa taas so you can watch it later. Tapos, um, also in the info box, so just in case you are unable to see it, lagay ko na rin sa info box yung link no in-depth review ko nitong pen na to. Aside from the 24-hour claim, it also claims to be waterproof and smudge-proof, which I think is okay. Kaya lang, iba pa rin ang usapan pag nag-oil up na yung skin mo. So, dun siya medyo nag-fail, hindi siya na ganun ka-smudge-proof once um, mag-start na mag-oil up yung skin mo. Now, pagdating naman dito sa Everbelena side, this is a lot cheaper compared kay Maybelline. Ito, bagong labas lang to, if I'm not mistaken, like a few months lang. Tapos, um, I purchased this online for 180 pesos. Para sa akin, okay na yung price. Hindi na masama for a local brand. Ngayon, meron silang dalawang shade. Itong dark brown is wood and then yung light brown is tweed. Now, according naman sa official page nila, um, both in Lazada and in Shopee, this is a product that has a sheer coverage. So, kailangan i-build mo siya ng bahagya para makita mo yung payoff ng color. Which is a good and a bad thing, which I'm gonna explain later on. Tapos, um, it also has a claim na foolproof siya, tsaka waterproof din. Now, pagdating sa tip, pareha silang quad tip. So, wag na natin to guys patagalin. Ilagay na natin siya on my skin or on my eyebrows. Isu-zoom in ko kayo guys para mas makita niya yung itsura niya at yung application between each product. Tapos, Dito sa right side, ilalagay ko si Maybelline. And then, dito sa left side, ilalagay natin si um, Everbelena. Alright, so let's go! So, hindi ako sure kung magmamatch silang parehas na shade. Pero, I guess, ang pinakamalapit kong pwedeng gawa ng review, guys, is itong um, gray-brown sa, uh, sa Maybelline. Tapos, itong wood kay Everbelena. Okay, so mag-start tayo kay Everbelena dito sa left side. Brush ko lang ng konti para naman maganda-ganda ang ating lapat. Okay, so definitely sheer talaga yung coverage na guys or yung tint niya. Sometimes it is a good thing uh, kasi you don't really need to 
mess up a lot kapag ka medyo share yung application or yung yung opaqueness ng shade. Uh, pero sometimes, it eats a lot of the product for you to get something out of it. Kaya parang mas magastos. I honestly don't see the hair like strokes anymore. Even here. Parang ang hirap niyang hanapin. Kasi medyo sheer siya, natatabunan siya, or natatalo siya ng aking hair color. And from the camera, you guys can tell na medyo may konting red hint tong wood na to. Okay. So, I'm happy with that layer. Hindi ko lang sure kung kaya pa niyang magbigay ng konting opaqueness pa ha. Shake ko ng konti ito kasi parang nakukulangan ako. Okay, so happy na ako dyan guys. Kaya lang medyo feeling ko nakukulangan pa rin ako sa opaqueness niya kasi mas nangingibabaw yung hair color ko. Yung hair strands ko, kitang kita siya at medyo mapula talaga yung shade ng wood from Everbelena. So, let's go ahead and proceed naman dito sa ating right side gamit si Maybelline Tattoo Ink. Again, brush ko lang muna ito ng konti. Okay, here we go. Hindi ko sure kung pantay yung kilay ko, guys. <laughs> Kasi hindi ako masyadong sanay sa mga ganitong klaseng pen. Definitely, meron ditong um, learning curve na kailangang um, i-master. Parang ganun. But this is how, how the eyebrow looks like on the side of the Maybelline. Mas maganda yung lapat ni Maybelline. At mas kita ko yung hair-like strokes na sinasabi nila on the Maybelline side compare kay uh, Everbelena. And based naman sa consistency ng product, guys, on even here, oh, sa mga swatches na ginawa ko sa kamay ko now, uh, mas medyo liquid din ang konti si Everbelena compare kay Maybelline. Both are kind of liquidy, yes, pero mas liquid yung formula ni Everbelena to the sense na nag uh, ano siya nagbi-bleed siya dun sa skin so sometimes kapag medyo marami yung nailagay mo sa isang area kumakalat siya dun sa mga lines ng skin mo so hindi naging hindi magandang tingnan yon at hindi mo na ko control as opposed dito kay ever uh, kay Maybelline um, hindi siya ganun nagbi-bleed may konting pagbi-bleed pero once it sets kasi mad mas madali siyang mag-set compare kay Everbelena eh once it sets, okay na. Hindi naman na siya gagalaw. At saka, mas lesser yung reddish color dito sa Maybelline side compared dito kay Everbelena. Okay, so yan na yan guys. Ayan na yung ating um, finished results. Then, for now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wear this for a few hours or at least for the whole day. Tingnan natin kung alin ba dito sa dalawang product na to ang mas magtatagal sa oily skin. So, ayan na lang muna for now, guys. Babalikan ko kayo later. Hi, guys! So, I just want to do a quick check-in on our eyebrows today. Um, again, this is the Everbelena side while this is the um, Maybelline side. So, as you guys can tell, mas opaque yung shade ni Maybelline as opposed to kay wood ni Everbelena. But, for me, it doesn't really bother that much, I guess. Um, medyo nahinayangan lang ako ng konti kasi medyo, ayun, hindi pantay yung eyebrows natin, I guess. Pero okay lang yan. That's part of our test. So, ayan na lang muna guys for now. By the way, it's 154 ng tanghali. 154, ayan. So, at least, di ba, parang mga naka 2-3 hours na tayo. And so far, hindi naman nag-melt off si um, eyebrows. 
sa ating eyebrow pins kahit na medyo nagsistart na mag-oil up yung aking face at medyo mainit today uh, pero yeah, sige, itas pa natin to for a few more hours, balikan po kayo guys later Hi guys, I'm back and this is gonna be a check-in again on the eyebrow battle na ginagawa natin for Maybelline and Everbelena. It's 3.45 ng hapon and roughly around 4 hours na natin siyang suot, no? And obviously, you can tell sa screen naman, kita-kita nyo na mas opaque pa rin yung kulay ng ating uh, Maybelline Brow Tattoo compared dito kay Everbelena na super parang very light na lang yung nakikita natin. Pero if you look at it very closely, you can tell na meron pa rin product on the skin or on the eyebrow area. Kaya lang feeling ko, since nag-oil up na yung face ko at yung skin ko, lalong nag-diminish yung product on my skin. Parang kumalat siya kasi nga nag-oil up na ako. At super madali siyang ano, ma-scratch off. Pag naganon mo yung kilay mo, Obviously, makikita mo na talaga na may uka or uh, may gap na or technically natanggal mo yung product. Well, it's the same thing naman din dito sa kabila but not that much. I can tell na mas maganda yung kapit nung may bilin sa balat or sa eyebrow area natin compare dito kay Everbelena. Pero sige, let's go ahead and extend the battle a few more hours. Tapos pagbalik ko mamaya, I will share my final thoughts and verdict about this battle. Hi guys, I'm back and this is going to be my final check-in for this battle of the products that we're doing today for Everbelena and for Maybelline guys. It's already 6.40 in the evening. I think I can park the test here. Longevity test natapos na rin natin. It's been like 6-7 hours since inapply natin to kanina umaga, no? And this is how they look after 7 hours or roughly a whole day. Ganyan. Tapos, what I can see is, obviously, nag-blot naman ako. Um, pero hindi ko ginalaw yung aking eyebrows. And what I notice is, nag-oil up na rin yung aking kilay. But it looks like both of the products stayed put on my oily skin or oily eyebrow area for 7 hours. So, with that being said, which of these products will I recommend you guys? Between the two, mas lamang sa akin si Maybelline. Number one, mas define at mas kita yung mga hairline strokes dito. Also, maganda rin yung color payoff niya. Kaya one swipe lang, kita mo na agad yung hairline strokes na sinasabi. Pagdating naman sa shade availability, mas marami sila, obviously. At mas maganda yung color range na ibinibigay nila sa tao. I just wish meron silang medyo dark, like black or soft black para makater talaga yung mga... Uh, girls na hindi nag-dye ng hair, alam mo yun. The only downside of this is obviously the price. 399 pesos, medyo mahal siya for a pen. Lalo na pag naiwanan mo siyang bukas, obviously matutuyo siya. So, sayang si 399. Another thing na hindi ko nagustuhan sa kanya guys, kung hindi ka binayayaan ng bushy brows or perfect brows, this one doesn't have a matte finish. Actually, both of them, hindi matte finish it. So, kapag in-apply mo siya sa skin mo or sa eyebrow area mo, lalo na medyo may mga bulb areas ka dyan, mahahalata kasi medyo shiny yung finish niya. So, I guess that's it for this product battle, guys. I hope you enjoy and find this video helpful. If you guys have any questions, all the product information will be gathered in the info box or you can also post your questions, suggestions or kung meron kayong mga products na gusto nyo i-face off natin dito sa video segment na to let me know sa comment section below gagawa natin ng paraan niya but for now, ito na lang muna thank you so much for watching everybody and I hope to see you on my